What is up guys, Melek here, and today we are back in action playing some Feed the Beast Departed. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to go and click the like button, I'd really appreciate it. And I love your faces tremendously. Today's going to be freaking amazing, guys. Uh, we're going to start on Witchery, and then we're also going to do a few other things. I want to level up Califaction, uh, which is a skill. If you open up the C thing here, the, the level 16 thing on the bottom row, uh, close to the right side there, uh, is the Califaction skill. It's only level 16. As you level it up, it gives you a higher percentage chance to do more damage when you crit and uh, some other cool stuff that's actually really useful um, so to do that we actually need to smelt things in a furnace and grab them out by by hand we can't have any sort of automation done with it um, we well we can we can have the automation of inserting done but besides that we can't really do anything else what I want to do is we are going to have a furnace array here. Let me grab some furnaces. We're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine furnaces. And we're gonna do a little kind of like hopper uh, filler fill system that's gonna put in all the stuff and then also all the coal. So it makes it a little bit easier on it. It's not gonna be anything super fancy, so don't expect any amazing redstone because I don't really feel like uh, spending a while trying to uh, make this uh, super amazing. But um, actually, I shouldn't do this. Let me go ahead and kill all these guys. Uh, let's see. Um, and I probably threw a bunch of stuff in there. Now we're going to go ahead and take some powered rails. Yeah, powered rails. We'll take some powered rails. Uh, put them like right here. Boom. And then let's stick some of this right here. And some of this. Oh, I am killing stuff that I don't need to be killing. Um, some of this right here. And then... I'm gonna stick that like right there and I haven't really planned this out too well um, the reason this is like this is just so we can power it without having to worry about things now what I want to see is does this power all the way across or do I need more okay it doesn't quite get all the way across but that's fine um, you know what we could do we could just do this yeah we could do that uh, I'm not too worried about turning this on and off and then all we got to do is uh, take our let's take a chest do I have a chest I don't have a chest, do I? Uh, we can take a hopper cart. That's fine. We'll take a hopper cart and let's stick it right here. And we're just going to stick this right there. Uh, eh, eh, eh. There we go. And it's just going to start going back and forth. When we want to fill it up, we just right click on the uh, the cart. And then we just stick stuff in here. Like if I want to stick these clay jars in here, it's just going to uh, stick the clay jars inside of these guys. As you can see, there we go. Uh, what was in here? This guy, polished andesite. There we go. Now we also want to put coal in this thing. Uh, so let me go ahead and grab some. Also, I'm sorry if this is kind of boring for you guys. I apologize. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, but we're going to be doing some other cool stuff today as well. Anyways, this is going to be the coal system. So if we stick, you know, a couple pieces of coal in here. Uh, it's going to automatically load into there just like that. So we just have to have another car system that goes across this. But anyways, let me do that, and uh, we're going to start doing some other stuff. Okay, so I've done some prim little. I've done some preliminary work here, and uh, let's go ahead and check it out. So I don't know if this is going to work. I haven't actually tested it out, but we got a car that goes underneath. It goes up on top. Now I tried to make all of these powered. But every time I would try to make them powered, uh, these two right here would hook up. So I have this this going straight into the wall and it'll bounce off and go around. Hopefully that's fast enough. And I don't really feel like uh, trying to find another solution. Um, so here we go. Let's go ahead and draw this. So now this has some coal in it. And what I want to do is I want to make another Minecraft hopper thing. And we're just going to stick that right there. And then let me, let me put some stuff in here. We're going to stick some of these guys in here. There we go. And that should automatically start putting them evenly throughout the furnaces. Let's go ahead and turn this guy on. Oh, maybe I... Okay, yeah, I need to kill that. There we go. Uh, I had to <laughs> kill that top lock right there. So yeah, now now they are doing that. Oh, does it have enough speed? Please have enough speed. Please have enough speed. Please ha No, you don't... Oh, wait, you do have enough speed. Okay, cool, cool. Now it's going to come back up. It's going to come back up. Uh, then let's see. And it just barely has enough speed. We'll have to work on the speed thing. But I think for now, this is fine. And then what we'll do is let's just turn this guy off right here. Let me go ahead and kill this guy. And uh, we'll stick the blocky back. Uh, and yeah, there we go. It'll just straight up park right there, which is uh, pretty sweet. Now, does this power, like if I do something like this, does this power straight through? No, it doesn't. Okay. Um, we'll have to figure out where to stick this switch at. Maybe if I stick it like right here. Yeah, there we go. That works. And then it should go all the way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then come back. 
And it's gonna barely come back. And how much coal does this have? Okay, sweet. Now what we can do is, let's watch our levels right here. We can just go, boom. And our level should have went up slightly, boom. Yeah, it's going up very slightly. So this is gonna be something that's gonna take a lot of smelting. Um, as you see, we're level 17 now. Um, and we have to grab these out manually, which kind of sucks. I, I wish you could just shift click this or something. I don't know. It seems kind of pointless where you have to do stuff like this. Anyways, the next thing we want to make is uh, we're going to start in witchery. I want to make a witch's oven. And then I think we want to make some of these fume funnels. Let's see. I haven't made... Um, yeah, so this requires lava buckets. So yeah, let's just go ahead and make some witch's ovens. I figure we could stick... Um, Maybe just like down here, right here. Just like one, two, three, four right here. One, two, three, four right there. We'll just have four on each side. I don't know. Um, now, I've been smelting some some iron up here. Let's go ahead and come back up here and grab some. Let's see. Boom. Oh, yeah. We got plenty of iron. Look at all that iron that we have, guys. Uh, let's go and turn this guy off. And then we have anything left in here? No, we don't. Okay. So that went ahead and grabbed everything. Uh, let's make some of these guys. So I should have enough for everything. Uh, let's make eight of them. Okay, that's actually perfect. That's the perfect amount that we needed. Uh, let's come back through over here. I'm gonna stick these guys right here. Uh, oh, actually, if we stick the fume funnels on them, they're, they're gonna cover the furnaces that way, though. Maybe. You know, actually, you know what we could do? Let me, let me grab these guys. Let me grab all these guys. Let's stick them, like, right here. One, two, three, four. And then we'll do one, two, three, four. There we go. So we got all this. Now we need to take some of our clay pots. Uh, let me let me organize my inventory. Uh, there we go. And I want to say, let's see, one, two, three, four. Uh, sure, why not? We'll stick ten in each one, two, three, four. And then we need some sort of coal or something like that. I think. Let's stick that right there. And then now we can start sticking the saplings in here and we'll start getting some fumes and stuff like that. So let me go ahead and grab, I'm going to grab a stack of each. Let's see, one, uh, two, and then three. We might as well grab all the stacks, it's fine. Uh, so we'll stick a stack of birch in there, a stack of oak in there, and then a stack of spruce. And then let's see if we get any byproducts yet. Oh, also, uh, oh, so we got some wood ash right here. If we take some of this coal here, uh, let's go back. I'm going to show you guys something. So, you know, remember how we copied the, the quartz? We can actually copy... Oh, no, no, no. Let me let me stick this right here. We can actually copy the coal. So, if I do something like this, we get two coal back, then four coal back, then eight coal back, and then right here. Also, what I went ahead and done is I went ahead and made another mana pool, and this has the alchemical whatever it's called underneath of it. So, we can turn um, some quartz into... Uh, Prismarine because I was thinking well, let's go with the Prismarine uh, theme Downstairs I have a bunch of Prismarine down there already and uh, we can uh, we can start doing that So let's go downstairs real quick uh, right here We have a bunch of Prismarine that I've been making I need to I need to actually uh, mine up some cobblestone And then we're gonna do a different a bunch of different types of stuff. Let's see. Let's look up Batania uh, we can make prismarine, uh, bricks, uh, dark prismarine, and then sea lanterns. We want to make all four of these things. I figure we could go with that theme throughout this entire build right here. Um, tell me you guys what you guys think about that. I'm not exactly sure on if we want to do that yet. But uh, I think it would look pretty cool. Okay, so I've been doing some work to the base. We've expanded the walls out on the side a little bit because I need a room to plant some witchery crops. Uh, these guys should be done. Yeah, we got some Hino Rebirth. Uh, some Exhale of the Horned one and some Breath of the Goddess. These are the three basic ones that we need uh, starting out. We also need some Foul Fumes, I'm pretty sure. So let me go ahead and grab these guys, put them in here. And now, yeah, there we go. Awesome. So what I want to do is I want to fill up some of these guys with Garden. So we'll have little 3x3 three three, uh, areas here. Let me uh, stick some... Let's stick some mandrake seeds right here. There we go. So these guys actually grow, which is pretty sweet. Uh, let me go ahead and get some more garden soil. And these are all the types of witchery crops that we need. I went ahead and uh, you can get all these from breaking grass. Uh, there, you can also get garlic, I think. Um, but I think that's pretty much it as far as witchery crops are concerned. And then let's go ahead and take some snowbell seeds. Boom, boom, boom. And then now we want to, we have some wolfsbane. So you can actually, another cool thing that I haven't done in witchery since it's updated is you can turn into a werewolf or a vampire. So that's one thing that I want to do. 
uh, pretty soon. I think that would be cool. Which one would you guys like to see me turn into? Uh, either werewolf or vampire. One of those two things. And I, okay, so yeah, that's all the crops. Now, we just need to let these guys grow and kind of like do their thing. So I guess what we could do to speed these up along is just, uh, uh, uh there we go. He's dead. Uh, <laughs> I hate mandrakes so much because they do that right there. We actually probably want to maybe stick these guys. Oh my god, the, the nausea, the nausea is horrible, the nausea is horrible. Uh, let me, let me, uh, 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 uh. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, so we killed this. Now, we want to get, like, one of every type of seed here. So, let me go ahead and um, throw this down. So, uh, we want to make something called anointing paste. Let's see. Anointing paste. This stuff right here. Because they actually change the way you make certain things in witchery, which I think is pretty cool. So, we need, uh, let's see. Water artichoke, mandrake, belladonna, and snowbell. We have mandrake. Uh, so, now we need belladonna. We just need one of these guys. Uh, we need Snowbell, and then we need Water Artichoke right here. Boom, there we go. Uh, so we need these three, and we'll make some Anointing Paste like that. Boom, we got some Anointing Paste. Now we need to make a Cauldron. Do some of this and some of this. There we go, we got a Cauldron. Uh, and then I guess it doesn't really matter where we stick it. Oh, we also need... We need... Hmm, what do we need? Okay, so I guess I can just set this anywhere. Let's go ahead and make a little spot for it. We'll probably want to do multiple cal cauldrons, I think, anyways. But for now, uh, let's stick the nether rack down there. Let's light it on fire. And then I'm going to stick a cauldron right here. We're going to right-click it with the anointing paste. And there we go. It turns into a witch's cauldron, uh, which is sweet. And then now I want to test something. So I, ha I have... Uh, these guys, they're actually something called a brew of never-ending water, something like that. But I also have this guy, so I don't know the way vanilla dispensers work. I would know how to do this in modded, but I want, I want to see if this works. If I write, do that right there, then let's see, just put that right there. Does this... Oh, no. Okay, so that... That doesn't like use it. I figured maybe it might use it, but it doesn't. But that's completely fine. We don't really, we don't really need. It. I was just thinking of a convenient way. Now I don't know if a dropper would use it or not. Okay, looks like that doesn't use it either, and it looks like that destroys everything that we have. Okay, well that is that's pretty awesome uh, that we can't use any of this stuff right here. Um, <laughs> uh, I guess we're just gonna have to fill it the old-fashioned way for now, anyways. Okay, so we have an infinite water source. Let me grab a bucket real quick, and uh, we'll fill this up. Um, <laughs> so, ne next thing we need to be making is some... Um, let's look up witchery real quick. We need to be making some stuff here. What is this called? This uh, mutandus right here. Now, for mutandus, we need an egg, XL the horn one, and a mandrake root. So, they changed it. It used to be, it used to be a normal recipe you made in like a crafting bench but now you need a witch's cauldron um so we need eggs which means we need chickens and we don't have any chickens so i'm gonna have to work on getting some chickens we might have to make a chicken farm so that's probably going to be like the next thing we do. okay so is this good okay yeah so you have to fill this up multiple times there we go and then can i stick more in this no i can't okay so we're good um so this takes three buckets now you see it's bubbling now um, so, to make the mutandus, we need mandrake crew eggs and XL the horned one. So, I don't know if you can just throw a bunch in here. Uh, I, I hope you can. I would really like it if you could. Uh, like, for example, let's throw two of this in here, two of this in here, and two of this in here. And then I want to see, does this actually do stuff? Like, how do I, how do I, oh, maybe you can only make it one at a time. If you can, that kind of sucks. Um, there we go. Okay, so we got six mutandus. Yeah, I think you can only make it one at a time. So we're really going to need like a whole array of these, I think. I think that would be the best. Uh, we might even make like a, a dropper system or something for this. I don't know. Uh, but let's just let's just make a bunch of these. Let's boom. Oh, no, I did not want to do that. Uh, boom, and then boom. There we go. So now this makes some more mutandus. And it takes a little bit. It looks like it takes a, a, just a second. And then it'll just pop it out whenever it's done, which I think is pretty cool. We need, uh, you know what, let's do this three times. Sure, why not? So one... Uh, two and then three. I like the new. I like the new thing. I like how it does little particles and looks all cool. And it's all nice and fancy. Uh, so what we need to do is use this mutandus on actual like uh, things like uh, saplings. So let's grab the sapling right here. Let's stick it right here. Then we want to do like mutandus. So that turns into oak sapling, a mushroom, oak sapling stuff. We're not getting anything that we want right now. Oh, there we go. We got an alder sapling, which is good. Uh, alder sapling is something that we need. Let's go ahead and grab another one of these guys. 
and do some stuff on here. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, we got a, uh, nope, that's an acacia. We don't need acacia. <laughs> See, this this is gonna kind of suck. I can already tell because the way you have to make this now, it's gonna take a little bit. But I guess we can use the mutandus on here in between rounds and see if we can get all all kinds of lucky stuff. But we're gonna need quite a few things. Like I'm probably gonna be sitting here for a while, actually doing this. Okay, so like Spanish moss, we I screwed that up. You have to use shears on that. I can't believe I messed that up. That's fine. It's fine. Uh, and Hawthorne. Okay, Hawthorne actually works. Um, we need that as well. So we got Alder and Hawthorne stuff. Let's go ahead and grab some more of this. Yeah, there we go. And we're looking for Spanish Moss. Um, let's see what else we're looking for. Let's see, Witchery. Uh, we want Spanish Moss. I don't know how we get Garlic. I'm assuming that's something to do with Vampires. Uh, but we need Rowan. Uh, and I guess that's it for the trees. We need Spanish Moss. We need Glint Weed. And then we also need something else i can't remember what it's called um also we can kill the dogs in the nether and get these tongue of dogs like the little hellhounds or whatever that spawn in the nether we can kill those and get tongues of dog which is pretty cool um there's something else that we need to get i forget what it's called i can't remember right now uh, but let's go ahead and just try this out a couple more times see if we can actually get the get something that we need let's see boom oh mushroom oh jungle Mushroom, spruce, jungle, mushroom. No, we missed it. Did I not fill this up properly? One, two, and then three. There we go. Awesome. Anyways, I guess I'm going to pause and do this for a little bit, and then we're going to try to get everything, and I'll come back to you guys whenever I have the opportunity to. Okay, so I've got everything except for the moss, so <laughs> and I got shears right here. So I pretty much screwed that up. We got some ember moss right here. Uh, what I meant was the Spanish moss, the stuff that grows on the side. Uh, you can uh, you can like put it on walls or trees or whatever, and it'll spread, and that's how you kind of like get more of it. Also, this stuff spreads, but it's actually not spreading right now. I'm not sure why. I have to look this up. It's supposed to spread though. Um, and, but we have all three types of trees. We have Rowan. Uh, wait, Rowan. Hawthorne and then Aldor, Alder. Uh, so we can go ahead and cut these down if we wanted to, uh, but we're just gonna go ahead and leave them the way they are right now. And then over here, um, I end up making a little chicken farm. Looks like they haven't uh, grown up yet, but there's like three of them in there. And once they grow up, we'll start breeding them with seeds and they'll become like our egg factory. I'm out of eggs or I wouldn't make more of the mutandus. So we're going to have to wait until these guys kind of grow up and start breeding them and get more eggs. And over time, we'll get a lot of eggs. I'll be able to make uh, as much mutandus as I want. Uh, now for this over here, I was thinking we could do like a row. I keep walking through that. A row of witches cauldrons right here. Let's see, like, uh, like one, two, three, four, five five witches cauldrons and then we can do like an infinite water source up here with uh half slabs and then on the same side kind of do the same thing except for with uh kettles which is what you used i think to brew potions and stuff so yeah we can use uh kettles if kettles are even in here kettles still in here i can't i don't even know maybe the cauldron like replace the kettles uh we have this this silver vat i don't know what this does though and then we have distillery so that's something we need to make here soon and then there's all kinds of stuff we also need to make the altar and uh give the altar power and that kind of stuff uh, so we'll work on that next episode and in the future episodes i'm gonna go ahead and call it here if you guys enjoyed make sure to go and click the like button i really appreciate it love your all's faces and i'll see you guys next time i keep running through stupid moss man